Hello creators. Today I wanted to talk to you about gloss varnishes versus epoxies. Now I'm getting ready to cover this acrylic painting with a gloss varnish to give it a, a protectant finish and afterwards then I'm going to talk about the difference between the two. Now I've placed some in a bowl but I'm going to start painting it or covering it with this gloss varnish which is an acrylic varnish. It's water based so the cleanup is with soap and water unlike a lot of other varnishes can be an oil based varnish but this is an acrylic varnish and it acts like uh, a protectant or a sealant over your painting and since acrylic paints are water based then it's good to have a water based protectant over it just like some artists will cover their oil paintings with an oil based varnish you do the same with an acrylic varnish water based varnish now you can apply several coats to this it dries quick just like acrylic paint so once you've completed one coat then allow it to dry completely before painting it again or covering it again with another coat so after I'm completely finished covering this well this is actually the second coat I've done a coat over it the day before this which brings out the bright brilliant colors a lot different when you leave just the paint on the surface of the canvas and I would rather use the acrylic gloss varnish over a stretch canvas and use the epoxy finish over a, a wood canvas so but we're going to get into that so let me just pick up the camera and show you what that looks like i don't know if you'll be able to see it up close but this has a gloss finish which the acrylic paint gives it the acrylic varnish gives it and it you'll get the same with uh an epoxy but i would prefer to use an acrylic gloss varnish over a stretch canvas versus um the varnish and I'm going to tell you why so this is the acrylic gloss varnish it's a Liquitex brand and it's water based like I said earlier it dries fast and it seals in the paint of your painting so it acts as a protectant and a sealant this is a glaze coat uh, epoxy and the reason why I'm choosing the uh, acrylic varnish over the epoxy is because of the way it dries in the way that it finishes on a stretch canvas versus a wood canvas so let me show you okay here is a piece that I completed uh, it's an uh, abstract piece but I covered it with the epoxy glaze coat and it and it gives it a nice shine nice vibrant finish but what you don't know before you before it completely dries is that it'll have a lot of little tiny imperfections little dents and uh, scratches in the surface if you're not careful what I try to do is cover it completely so that 
no particles or dust will settle on it but should you lean it up against something those little indentures are going to stay in that surface and that happens it usually happens when you uh, cover it on an acrylic uh, I'm, I'm sorry when you cover a stretch canvas because the the center is flexible it tends to gather a lot of these little dented imperfections i don't know if you can see those really close but they show up and you'll see them with the naked eye but it looks really good it gives the uh canvas a nice vibrant glow and shine to it versus the acrylic um varnish the acrylic varnish you don't see any of the dents because the uh epoxy is a lot heavier and it i guess any pressure that may uh, go up against the uh, surface of the stretch canvas it will be affected by you know whatever leans on it versus that with you know it doesn't shine as much with the acrylic varnish but the drawback to that is that you might end up uh, accumulating these little indentures along the surface of your stretch canvas. So that's the only reason why I don't like to cover my stretch canvases with the epoxy versus the stretch canvas with the varnish. So I wanted to show you an example of a wood canvas. It's completely made of wood, front and back, this one I just primed not too long ago, so that white surface is just a primer, not a, it's not a stretch canvas. But that epoxy finish will lay on top of this, and you won't have the indentures. Indentures, uh, I know I'm not saying that right, but the little dents in the surface of the canvas, because this is wood. So this is what I prefer to use the epoxy glaze coat on top of and this is just one brand of the epoxy glaze coat that I use so from now on I'm going to be covering all of my canvases wood canvases using the epoxy and then the stretch canvas using the uh, gloss varnish so anyway I don't know how many of you even put any type of finish or sealer on top of your finished artwork but let me know what you think about the whole idea of the epoxy versus the acrylic and tell me what some of your solutions are so anyway this is a uh, SWC stands for Sonia Walker creation for my acrylic spin art this particular piece is a spin art so you can uh, go to my website swcabstracts.com take a look at some of the pieces that I've um, created and um, leave a comment tell me what you think about using the uh, gloss varnish versus the glaze coat till then I will see you in the next video